Welcome back. Last episode I showed you guys how to get the images for your background, how many images, the tools that you will need to use in, and actually make a background, and this time I will show you how much of it you should make and what would be a good idea, just some good ideas of what you should do. The first part you can make a background by yourself but this is something that will make it look better okay so we have what well, where we left off last time and this is what you'll want to do you'll want it to look like this you'll want it to look like it blends like it's not just some solid block like if let's say if a whole row of band images didn't go from here all the way across that would be noticed so much so what you'll want to do is you want, you'll, make, you'll want to make variety so this is what I did you'll want to put stuff in places where they aren't exactly necessary but it'll definitely make it look better like say this I put a Cavalier Conspiracy in this little box right here you can't really see it because it's a stupid freaking uh... type but there's some cavalier conspiracy right there in Sephirum, and then there's some death the death logo comes down and it covers that little area making it look blends making it kind of blending kind of in a way and then over here i have a destruction logo which also helps it blend very much Having it on the side like that is a good thing to do. If you put it on the side like that, it'll make it look a lot better. Because then it looks like an actual logo. Not logo, but background. Because for YouTube, the sides are something that you'll want to definitely uh, bring out. You'll want to have something showing down there. Have the cool things, you know, on the sides. And have the not so cool things in the middle part where all the text is. But if you have something like what I have, and you actually make it like s transparent, they'll be able to see it, but they'll mostly pay attention to the outside. So what you'll want to do is here. Here's what um, my thing was in progress as I was making it, and as you can tell, I did fill in some of the spaces all the way, but some spaces I left empty until further notice. It should be that right there, because I didn't know if I was going to put something there or not. So, just be open to ideas of where you could put it. Like, I could have, may have been able to put that there, but I decided not to. Another thing that could also help is called cropping. And what cropping is, is, uh, let's just take an image. Um, trying to think of an image that was too big for the picture, actually. I can't remember any. Well, uh, D aside. No, never mind. That's bad. That that's, that just covers the whole thing. Never mind. Um, paste from Aristocata. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Aristocata. Okay, so you'll want to go to edit and where is it? I think I might have the wrong thing. Oh, there it is. It's in images. My bad. Okay, so you want to go to images and crop. This what this is what it'll do. It'll bring you to this, and it'll allow you to edit it. So what you'll want to do is cover like a certain amount. Let's say that this was an actual image where the back, it, the black part of the background is too much, and will cover other images, like logos of other bands. You don't want that because then it'll look like crap. So you want to like remove stuff. Now, this is just an example. You wouldn't want to cut off something like that little piece right there on the eye. Do not do that. This is just an example. So what you'll want to do would be edit as soon as you got it highlighted, that little area, and then go to cut. And then, then it'll be gone. And then what you want to do is drag this little box right here up until you get to a certain spot. Then boom then you got your actual image but you're not done yet you'll want to press right 
we want to right click and what the heck oh crap my bad what you want to do is cover what you wanted press left and then copy you actually didn't have to do all of that but just in case some things you didn't really want in there that might help just to make sure but press copy then undo undo and undo and I'll bring you back to here if you undo I think three or sometimes bring you back to your normal image and just to get rid of that get rid of that oh air some kind of and then you want to right click it'll still have your little thing and here it is, air cicada. You'll want to put that whatever right there. Sorry, I have to do two things at once. I have to actually mess with the uh, mouse and then actually do this. So that's basically what you do. And what would I say is the perimeters for uh, the sides? I mean, like. Some people do not, whatever you do, don't make it too big because then half of the image will be on the side and the other half will be in the inside and you don't want that. Crap, sorry about that. I accidentally uh, turned off my uh, video camera. And here we are again. Um, so you don't want it to be too big on the sides because sometimes if you put it too big on the sides, then half of it will be like, let me show you as an example half of it will be over here and half of it will be over here and it won't show very well so what you will want to do is basically make it smaller like let me just find mine again there we are so that's one way of how you could make it so that it fits and then to actually put on the side image and then flip rotate uh, 90 degrees that would be for the right side I suggest that for the right side don't put that on the uh, left side so I'd say 90% will be on the right and then 270 percent like not percent degree rotation on the left so 90 degree 200 is set 270 degree 90 270 okay and then you'll basically just grow it and grow it and grow it. I can't give you all the details on how you should, but that's how I did it. I did it pretty well. I didn't even look up any videos. I did it by myself. I got bored one day. But this is how I did mine. If you like mine, which is this. And I thought it came out pretty, really... I just thought it came out extremely good. And... I think it worked very well but anyway you grow yours out but there is a point where you have to stop you have to know when to stop and that point is where right here okay of course you're always gonna have a bottom line you can't loop them it's kinda hard to loop them you'd have to cut the whole logo in half and then paste it all the way up there again that would be very hard don't try to do that it's just too hard if you want to try to do it, fine, but just forewarning you, it's really, really hard. I would not suggest you doing it. But the point is, um, you'll want to grow it to about, oh, I'd say, um, basing on the logo size, I'd say, um, one, two, three, four, five six logos down and like depending on the size if it's small like this little mega death symbol all the way in the corner then I'd say about a nah, bunch but if it's something big like this municipal waste logo then I'd say not that many like four but I did a mixture of them that's a good thing do a mixture of a lot of things like there's this tiny um, Keller Conspiracy right here, there's a small deicide, there's a wolf chant, there's a big autop autopsy, creator, a giant coma, 
and then the Sepultura logo dismembered. Just put a bunch of variety in it. And if you wanted your channel to feel a certain way, you can use certain genres of music. Like, you could do a bunch of thrash. Bunch of thrash. Um, where's another thrash band on this? Tank hard. Just try, if you want it like that, fine. But try to make it so that it's actually a reasonable size, and save a bunch, even in development. Because if it's too big, if the images is too big, and by save I mean like a bunch of different files. I mean not just one file and save and save and save and save and save. No, make multiple files and save on each one because if you mess up like if something gets too big you have to go back and fix it and that'll be very difficult because you won't know where to start where what to delete it'll be very difficult so I suggest you just save a bunch on not save a bunch as I explained it but anyway that's as much as I can guide you through it and that's how I did mine this is my uh, version as I was going through it. This is my save version. About halfway through, I uh, stopped, and then I didn't make it this big. I ended up stopping at about, ooh, I'd say, here, and I pressed on this little button all the way down here. You can't really see it, but if you can't find the button. Not the button, but this little tag that you can drag up and make it shorter, which um, I got my thing over right now. It makes it shorter, the whole image shorter, so when you save it, it's completely different. If you can't find it, just press up here on view, and then zoom, and then custom, and then drag over, and then make it 50. And I'll make it bigger, and you can see it a lot better, which is right there, that little blue square. If you were to put your, yeah, right there, and you can drag it up, and then make it fit. And as you can tell, it made that. So this has been my tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope that this gave you enough information. If you have any questions, just give me a comment or a message. If I do not respond to you, you can always check out my other YouTube channel. Send me a message. My other YouTube channel is Repscalion. If you don't know how to spell that or what, go to my channel and then look up the channel named New Metal Channel. And not by New Metal as in NU Metal as in a genre metal. I mean as in I have a channel that all I do is make metal so that's basically it and if you have any questions basically do that and I will get back to you as fast as I can um, if you want any extra suggestions I couldn't put in this video you could also but I'll also post them most likely post them in the actual video in an annotation so make sure you look out for those don't take off your annotations so thanks for watching i guess i will see you guys later thanks bye